The thumbnail on this one looked hilarious. It's the top 10 mysterious deep sea creatures caught on camera, which is just an amalgamation of all of like the search terms that you use to find these things. If you guys have ever like looked for a product on Amazon, you'll notice the product isn't just called like designer t-shirt. It's called like designer t-shirt, men, woman, small, medium, large, zipper, no zipper, quarter zip, like they, cause they just include every possible buzzword that they can to try and get you onto the product. This is what this feels like to me. 10 mysterious deep sea creatures caught on camera. They just combined a bunch of words. And the thumbnail was a picture of a sturgeon scaled up to the size of a pond being netted. So I am really, really looking forward to what they have to offer here. Fact, we know more about outer space than we know about the deep sea. Oh. That's mostly because of the inherent difficulty in exploring the depths of the ocean and partly because we're extremely terrified of what's down there. That's Today we're gonna be looking at- No one is not exploring the ocean because they're terrified. They're exploring the ocean because there's not funding or it's just difficult in some areas. Number 10. The Barrel Eye Fish. Yep. Classic. The deep sea is a mysterious place home to even more mysterious creatures. And the Barrel Eye Fish. I will admit, Barrel Eye Fish is a little bit spooky. I could have put them in my spookiest fish, but I, I didn't really consider them scary at all. They basically just have like the super weird see through head. And it's like the, one of those things that, like, when we first came across it, you know, when scientists first discover it, it's like, okay, what the fuck is going on here? But, you know, as time has gone on now, I kind of see them as derpy. They kind of look dumb. Like, if you first saw that thing coming out of the shadows, you'd be like, what the fuck? But now they kind of just look dumb to me. They just look like a joke. Which is definitely one of them. <laughs> well, let's just say that all we know about this deep sea dweller is based on speculation. This fish has a transparent what? head. Inside. All we know about it is based on speculation. Bro, you're watching video footage of it right now. Obviously, we know things from observing it. Now that researchers have access to deep diving remotely operated vehicles equipped with lights and cameras that can withstand the pressure, they are able to observe the barrel eye far more closely. Nah. And yet, this odd fish still holds so many secrets, leaving scientists puzzling over its life cycle and reproduction patterns. Well, that's fair. It is definitely a, um... Something that we don't know a lot about just because Steve's Oh, look at how sad he looks. Bro, it's okay. I know those aren't his eyes, so you can't like personify it like that, but he looks so sad. God damn. So, mysterious deep sea creatures. Okay, I'll give you this is a mysterious deep sea creature. Caught on camera kind of implies that like, oh my god, we weren't expecting this. Like, no, they're they're looking for it. Number nine. The Black Sea Devil. Well, that's a the fancy problem name about deep sea creatures fish. is, well, obviously, you almost never get a chance to see them. But back in late 2014, one of these creatures, namely the Black Sea Devil, got its chance Aww. to be in the limelight. Aww, that team is using absolutely the cutest out of all of anglerfish are ugly. Absolutely. Creatures, namely the Black Sea. But this guy, this guy is not bad looking. This guy looks like a, a like one of the cutest anglerfish I think I've seen. I don't mind him. Due to the difference in pressure, almost all deep sea creatures do not survive and turn into mush when being brought to the surface. True. This extraordinary you guys know that blobfish don't actually look like that? When they're in the deep sea, they look normal, but when you pull them up because of the pressure difference, bad stuff happens. I think I've also told this story before, but I, um, did a, I worked with a, a research project on black sea bass, and at the end of the year we all had to do like a presentation on what we had, the information we had come up with for black sea bass. And this girl, for her presentation, she like went first and she put an image of a black sea bass and then like coming out of um, like the black sea bass's mouth is what looked like a tongue, right? Um, just like an organ coming out there that like looks a little fleshy and pink. And so she's like, look, this black sea bass is sticking its tongue out. Isn't it so cute? Uh, it was not the tongue. It was the stomach, which was coming out through the fish's mouth because it had been brought up from the deep and the pressure changes uh, fucked it up, basically. So just a lesson on uh, don't bring fish up from the deep sea because their body internals just get destroyed. Number eight, blood belly comb jelly. Blood belly comb jelly. Okay, comb jellies are not even remotely scary. They don't even have the stinging cells. You guys don't know there's there's stenophores and then there's um, snidarians. Snidarians. Snidarians are the jellyfish. They sting. They have stinging cells. They're named for their snidarian. Tenophores don't have stinging cells. They're just comb jellies. They just capture things or they engulf them whole, like the two types of comb jellies. So there's absolutely nothing scary about a comb jelly. 
The bloody belly comb jelly lives at depths ranging from 984 <laughs> to 3,320 feet. Like with all deep sea dwellers, little is known about this mysterious creature with the catchy I feel name. like we know a decent bit about comb jellies. Maybe not this specific species of comb jelly because it's deep sea, but like, eh. I'd go, is that for Halloween? Yeah, I'd be a bloody belly comb jelly for Halloween. That actually sounds fun. Number seven. The giant squid. The People giant keep squid. The, the, so that what I've heard is the giant squid is longer, but the colossal squid is thicker. I think is what I've heard. I think I'd be more scared of like a big thick squid than a long squid. So I would put the colossal squid, not the giant squid. But people always put the giant squid. Number six, the vampire squid. Everyone does this. It's the fucking Dumbo squid. It's the fish that literally swims with its ears and looks fucking cute as hell. But in spite of its monstrous name, it is a tiny creature growing to only about six inches in length. It's kind tiny. of the opposite of our previous entry. Number five, the Pacific viper fish. The viper Classic. fish is one of the most unusual. Just name a random deep sea fish that's actually like two inches long but has sharp teeth and therefore equals scary. Known as one of the fiercest predators of the deep, in fact. This fish can be easily recognized by its large mouth and sharp fang-like teeth. In fact, these fangs are so large that they will not fit inside the mouth. Instead, they curve back very close to the yeah, fish's eyes. Yeah, it's so large that this is like a normal size Tupperware, and this is the size of the fish in it. It's cool of looking. course, I'll that admit. is just speculation. Imagine having like thing in an aquarium. If you could keep a viper fish alive in an aquarium, it would be awesome. It looks cool as hell, but... Not really mysterious. Most deep sea creatures, little is actually known about this guy. Number Bad, four. One. The Taunius. If you were to guess. Oh, it's what a squid. Kind of animal. I was gonna say, I have never heard of the Taunius. I have never had, I was actually genuinely surprised because I have never had one of these videos bring up something that I did not know. I have never heard of the Taunius. I guess it's just a type of squid, but that's cool. They actually surprised me for once. I get to learn. Well, this is, I bet the word squid is going to be the first thing that comes to mind. It actually, yes, my squid friend. is not the first thing that came to mind. It was, actually. Literally, the first thing I said was, oh, it's a squid. <laughs> the Taunius is a squid. A glass squid, to be more specific, Pretty for cool. very obvious reasons. Although it comprises only three recognized species, it has been <laughs> suggested there may be as many. <laughs> what? Why is it making that face? <laughs> Number Bye, three. So. Love you. The deep sea dragonfish. Yes, another tiny deep sea The deep, deep sea, sea dragonfish, fish. sometimes known as the scaleless dragonfish, is a ferocious predator that inhabits the deep oceans of the world. For many years, deep scientists have known scary. about the dragonfish's photophores, which are cells that emit light. What's there up with everything a couple being of red six inches? Because all of these deep sea, like, ferocious predators are literally just, like, five or six inches long. But he doesn't want to, <laughs> he doesn't want to say that because it kind of takes away from the mystery and the scariness and the ominousness of it. It's just a, just a tiny little, it's like a minnow-sized dude swimming around. Like, yeah, he's got cool teeth, but like... <laughs> what they don't know is that this fish's entire body lights up as shown in the video. Why the fish does this, well, no one knows. Clearly, further study of this amazing yet mysterious creature is required. Further study of bioluminescence in general is required. Yeah, there's a lot of like conflicting stuff with bioluminescence as far as like attracting prey but then like there's distracting prey and then there's like hiding from prey by not having bioluminescence like bioluminescence maybe i'm wrong but doesn't make a lot of a lot of um clear sense to me it seems like its purpose is completely different in every animal and a lot of them conflict so i'm actually really interested to see what research comes out on bioluminescence like as i get older now it's time for today's best pick. Oh, I love today's best pick. We always got some really good photos for today's best pick. So if you find something on the internet that stumps you like a weird photo, send it on over You've got to, be to fucking us and who me. knows. This is a sturgeon. You might even feature. This is a normal size sturgeon photoshopped into a pond to look. And they're catching it with this. You're telling me there's a... Okay. Picture in a future video. Number two. The fish pond monster? You've gotta be I suppose that's kidding. actually the best name for it. Today's top pick is weird. It shows a photo of a group of fishermen trying to encircle what obviously is a monstrous fish. Obviously. The fish oh god, not Sturgeonzilla. We've got Crabzilla, we've got fucking... 
that it? Do we only have Crabzilla? Well, now we've got Sturgeonzilla. I actually like Sturgeonzilla way better than Crabzilla. Men are even kids. Is this photo even real, though? No! It's so obviously not real. It's just a fucking sturgeon. What? How could you ask that question? Well, not quite. The fish in the photo is quite real. It is a sturgeon, which is quite a big fish, but they definitely don't grow that big. Somebody just obviously superimposed its photo smack in the middle of people trying to catch fish in a pond. Although, there are records of monster fish being caught in a small oh, fishing hole like this one, which shows a huge catfish getting caught in a tiny pond. So, right fishing hole, wrong giant fish. Replace the surgeon with a catfish and this photo might be more believable. No, it wouldn't! There's no catfish! Even a fucking fully grown Wells catfish is not this size. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that- Why did his voice suddenly change? Five senses to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five what seconds- What the fuck is going on? I feel like I'm being attacked. My senses love. are being attacked. Just try it. It really works. Wow. Number one. Hit subscribe and you get great luck for five years. Yay. The deep sea orifish. Hoggers, This orfish. strange looking orifish is the largest oh, bony fish in the sea. Because of this, it is believed that the orifish may be responsible for many of the legendary sightings of sea monsters and sea serpents by ancient mariners and beachgoers. Sorry, I just can't pay Almost attention everything to this. we know about the orifish. I've made an entire documentary about orifish. I think I'm like. I'm over it. I, he's not going to say something I think that I haven't heard. Which has been learned from specimens that have washed ashore on beaches or have been accidentally caught by fishermen and footage of a live one out in the wild are pretty rare. That's a good thing though. Here, oh, look at the mouth. Look at this mouth compared to the body size. A lot of people are like scared of oarfish or like I remember, was it Hassan who watched that one video and there's like an oarfish and he was like, fuck that, I'm never going in the ocean. You want that thing to attack you? Its mouth would literally barely fit my thumb remote operated vehicle while Can't it was exploring you. the depths of the Gulf of Mexico. Although it is a little hard to tell in the video, this fish is massive. These fish can reach a length of over 50 feet and weigh as much as 600 pounds. Hog champ. Whoa.